What's up guys, John here from Deadland Steamworks. Today, I wanna to show you guys what's in my camera bag. But first, intro. All right, so everybody loves gear, we all do. That's probably half the reason why uh, we're all into photo and video work because, you know, gear porn, right? I'm gonna take you guys on a little walk through what's in my bag, what I carry around with me here, whenever I'm out vlogging or doing street photography or just most things that aren't working on a short film. This is a whole different set of stuff when I'm working on a short film. First off, the bag I carry is the Altura photo bag. I'm not a big fan of it. It's too small. It's uncomfortable. I got it off of, I think, Wish for really cheap, like 10 bucks or something. But hey, whatever. It is functional for now. Outside of it, we've got a little side pocket here, which in this side pocket, I keep pins, which Dr. Grips, best pin ever. Some might say that the uh, Pilot Precise RTV5 is a close close first but no nah, I disagree I, I think these are more comfortable dr. grip pins best pin ever also in this pocket I keep a field notes guide and this one happens to be WBEZ member edition but you know whatever field notes good for taking notes while you're out running around remember camera settings phone numbers if you run into somebody I'm just gonna put this stuff back as I go through it here other side I have a Joby gorilla pod 3k and on top of it I have this Manfrotto 496 RC2 ball head because I don't like Joby's ball heads and all of my tripods and monopods and everything have the same quick release plate on them so I can easily switch between tripod, monopod, whatever I need to do and not have to switch out the quick release plate also. my This is the 3K, this is the 5K. I usually carry the 5K and the 3K as a backup because I carry more than one camera body. On my 5K, this is the um, MHX Pro BHQ2 ball head. It's a little more robust, a little heavier, but I also like to pop this ball head off and put it on my GVM motion controller. So I, I carry this one with me too. Those typically just attach here to the side or I carry it around because what's the point in having it and vlogging if you're not gonna have it out where you can, where you can use it. Next up, we have this little zippered area here in the front and inside this area, I keep some of my photo props. I keep two sets of fairy lights because these are super handy. When you're out taking photos, people like them. They look good. Get that Brandon Wolfel effect. Very nice, handy, easy to have, easy to carry and they last forever. I also have a large and a medium sized photo prism and these are great for also getting that Brandon Wolfel style effect and doing some uh, transitions where you wipe in front of the the lens and that sort of thing they're very handy items to have you can get some really cool effects with these kinds of things and that is it that's what goes in my front pouch i feel like anytime you're out doing street photography or photos just for fun or whatever you should always have some kind of props in your bag just to help set people at ease that sort of thing next up we have this side pouch over here which i just took them out because i got new ones but this is where i keep all of my business cards Normally this would be packed full of that and probably actually my notepad and pens would be over here if I were doing this the right way. I'm gonna do that now. Put those over here. I'll have some new business cards to stuff in here in a little while. Next up, we have the main front pouch here. This is where the bulk of the little stuff goes. Inside here we have the Pelican SD card case. I hate this thing. I want one of the Think Tank little pouches, the bags that roll up, but this is what I've got for now. Holds all of my SD cards, micro SD. I also carry one of the micro SD to full size SD adapters in case I'm out somewhere and I need to dump GoPro or drone footage or something. Uh, I can I can do that with the laptop. Girl fiber cloth, always good to have in the bag also. Next up, USB battery bank. This particular one is the XT Power, holds 32,000 milliamps and can run multiple devices. It's got a five volt one amp output and a five volt 2.1 amp output. And it's also got a DC 
output so if your laptop is low you can plug this up too and you can switch it between varying voltages with this little button here uh, i believe this was around a hundred dollars i've run gopros off of this for days uh i've run my cell phone off of this for days this thing is amazing it's huge but it's amazing also in here i would have battery or cables for phone and camera and charging and that sort of thing but they're all over here kind of off to the side being used right now. Also in here is the rain cover for this bag and apparently a really old receipt for some chicken fried chicken. But the rain cover, you know, in case it starts raining while you're out, you can cover your bag. Next up, we can flip the bag over and we have the main, the main pouch. In this side, we have a little storage area here where I keep my uh, iPad. If I'm carrying my drone, my iPad and the sun shield go in here typically for safekeeping. I don't normally carry a laptop because I carry a ton of SD cards. Uh, if I'm going somewhere for multiple days, like beyond one, I'll carry a laptop. But normally I'm just going out for like the afternoon or whatever, so I, I don't. It's got this little zipper area, which is like a, like a mesh thing to help keep things from tumbling around. And inside this bad boy, we have all the major goodies. I typically carry two camera bodies, the Panasonic GH5 with Panasonic X Vario 12 to 35 f 2.8 with power OIS lens on it. This lens is a 12 to 35 and on the Panasonic GH5 due to the 2x crop factor is essentially a 24 to 70 lens which is incredibly awesome and the image stabilizer in the lens matched with the image stabilizer in this camera body are insane. It's almost like having the thing on a tripod while you're hand holding it. I use this for all of my slow-mo, for all of my b-roll, my inserts. Anytime I want to do something super cinematic and kind of slow and whatever, I bust this guy out. I don't like it as much as I like my Canon for the vlogging just because of the color science and the full frame sensor and the depth of field. You, you kind of run into some of those problems with this. But also on this camera, I keep the Manfrotto base plate because they have a ball head that accepts this base plate on them already. And I don't have to worry about switching out the, the quick release plates anytime I want to switch devices. My, my tripod that's up here, it takes the same base plate so that I can take off of one of these and put it onto that. And my monopod is the same way. It's also got the same type of ball head on it, so they're quickly interchangeable. I have the Canon 6D Mark II. I always keep my 16 to 35 f 2.8 L lens on because, oh my God, it's so sweet. This is the sexiest lens ever. And when you're walking around vlogging, you get some amazing depth of field. And a lot of people will complain about it being heavy. Peter McKinnon walks around with a 1DX. I can walk around with a 6D Mark II with a battery grip. It's not. It's not the end of the world, it's not that bad. It is what it is. You use the tools that you have available to the best of your ability, and this is one of my favorites. I love this thing. Also, I have the pull tab mod done with packing tape, making this thing super awesome. You can flip it around to get selfie shots and then pull your screen open and have right where you can see it. Next up, I carry two of these aperture lights. If you haven't seen these before, you should get one of these at least and carry it with you everywhere. These are handy as crap. Bam! That is low, I believe. Let's see. These lights are amazing. They're super tiny, smaller than my cell phone. They last forever if you don't have them on high power. And anytime you're just like, oh, I need a like like a little light here. Bam! Just a little bit of little bit of light, little accent light. They're they're handy. They have gels and a diffuser that come with them. And by gels, they're just basically cellophane. They also have this little clamp that you can attach them to a tripod or a light stand or even to the top of your camera in the hot shoe. They're, they're rechargeable, they're, they're affordable. They're only like 35 or $40. I can't remember now, but they're really not, not expensive. I carry two of these lights. I use them all the time. They're extremely handy. In all of the photo shoots we've done in the middle of the night in the woods, I've used them both, two of them, they go in here. We also have two loom cubes. If it's raining, you wanna put it in some water and get some light, whatever, these things are ridiculously awesome. They're durable, they mount to a quarter 20 at the bottom. I don't use them all the time, but I do like to have them just in case. Next up, we have filters. I carry a 77 millimeter uh, circular polarizer and a variable ND filter absolute necessity when you're outside in the bright sunlight and you want to keep that shallow depth of field for that nice cinematic look. I carry the Rode video mic 
and the Video Micro. Both of these are great. Neither one take a battery, so you don't have to worry about turning them on and off. They sound pretty good. Not as good as the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus or whatever, but they're not $300 either. This is like 50 bucks and this one's like 90 bucks. And they are worth the money. They're lightweight, they're portable, they stuff into everything. I have the Canon 24 to 70 f 2.8 L. This lens is a beast. I've had one of these as long as I've owned a camera. This lens, oh, this lens is everything. This is my number one not vlogging lens. If I'm taking photos of somebody, this is my first go-to generally. Landscapes, it's got a macro mode on it. It's awesome, love this thing. Probably my favorite Canon lens. Next up, we have the 70 to 200 f 2.8 L, which has a mounting plate also on it because this thing is heavy and you don't want to put the camera and put all the stress on the mount on a tripod you'd mount this to it and just let the camera hang off the back this lens is like so sexy oh oh man just the telephoto look on some portraits long ways away sneaking in close getting some detail shots from across a pond or something ah. this thing is beautiful next up in here and i believe it's i've got two items left to talk about the next lens i have is this bad boy i'm a huge vintage lens fanboy this is the helios 44 m4 uh f2 and this is an m44 mount i believe you have to have an adapter to mount it to your cannons it's like a screw mount thing i just keep it on there all the time this lens oh man oh. lately i've been using this a lot on the gh5 it gets incredibly good bokeh it's very very nice sharp lens with very very razor thin depth of field if you get it down to f2 it's just oh. yeah i don't have good words i don't have all the food descriptors like mckinnon would have but this lens is cheap too you get them for like 50 bucks on ebay these things are get yourself one and mount it to your camera with an adapter you'll love it it looks great it's all manual there's no autofocus with this lens it's all manual focus but it's so oh. mm, yeah just gorgeous the last thing i want to show you in my camera bag is i carry a speedbones meta booster so that I can use all of my Canon lenses on my Panasonic GH5. Um, this will adapt my 2470 or my 70 to 200 or even the 16 to 35. All of them can go right onto the Panasonic with no problems. So if for some reason I want to reach out and and get something far away with the 70 to 200, I can do that with the Panasonic. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to carry a whole separate set of lenses. The only reason I even carry the 12 to 35 is because of the image stabilizer in it and when you're shooting super slow motion or you want to do a tracking shot and follow somebody that image stabilizer in the camera paired with the lens oh it's all it's over the top it's over the top you may as well be on a tripod or a slider but that's it guys that's what i carry in my bag when i'm out it's a pretty hefty bag but i don't mind it if you guys have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments feel free to shoot me a message on facebook twitter instagram whatever you would like to do follow me all those places all those social media sites you know go look me up follow me check out what i'm doing be a part of it hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed already go over and visit the patreon page if you feel so inclined and want to support us even more thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed this video Smash that like button if you are so inclined and appreciate the content here. Please subscribe if you have not already. Hit the bell so you get notifications because YouTube is screwing us around and not putting us in the feeds anymore and I would appreciate it. And you won't miss any content that way. And I will see you guys in the next video.